Hi, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to restart on Bluehost. So the first thing this we'd like to do, of course, is just go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here, in my case, I'm actually using Brave. But of course, in your case, you can use any other browser could be possibly working for you. Once you open that browser, make sure to go into this URL section and simply type bluehost.com and hit the enter button, which will actually take you into this page which is going to be your home screen or your main screen on the Bluehost website. Of course, if you want to log in into your account and if you already have it, simply click as login button at the top right corner. And if you don't have an account, you'll have to click at get started or simply because this choice will get you to choose a plan and it's going to be a bit expensive because you will have to commit with them for one year. You can simply just go and buy your own domain. By clicking at this domains option right here, and of course, it will take you to the page that will give you the opportunity to buy your domain from. And from there, you can start and create your account with that way also. So for me, I'm just going to click at login, which will log in into my account directly because I already logged in into my account in this PC. And that is going to be my screen once I logged in into my account. So as we said in the beginning of this tutorial, we would like to restart on Bluehost. So of course, if you mean like deleting uh, your website that you have in your domain name and create another one, you can simply click at your domains here and then click at my domains. Then of course, here you'll find the domain name that you have. So you check you have your domain name in your account. And then of course, you can click at my, my sites here, then click at manage sites. And of course, you can simply go to the settings option and then scroll down delete aside then go and create it again as you did in the first time but of course if you're talking about like the hosting tab and accessory you can simply click click at the hosting tab then click on performance on the sub menu then from the side the navigation menu on the left you can simply click on server management then click the reboot button so of course if you want to know how to do that you can simply click at login into wordpress and of course, we're going to install a plugin. So let's just wait for this until it loads correctly. And here is it. And once you're here, simply click at plugins. Once you do that, sorry, not just plugin, click as plugin, then ch uh, choose this add new. So let's just wait until it loads now. So as you can see, that's page what we want. Scroll down until you find this search plugins here. Type WordPress. Uh, reset click at the enter button and as you can see here we will have to install the second one so install it and just wait for the installation is done and i'm coming back into you okay never mind it's installed so now we'll have to click on activate and let's just wait now again and now it's activated just dismiss this if you scroll down you'll find it's act activated now you'll have to go into tools and of course, make sure to click on we, uh, WP Research. So let's just ignore that. And of course, here you'll have to scroll down to the bottom until you find the site reset. And here simply you'll have to type reset and simply click at reset site. Oh, sorry. Uh, reset and simply click at reset site. So simply here, if you click at reset site, click at reset WordPress and your site will be actually resetted so of course i showed you how to reset it like with deleting your website and with how to reset it uh, using the hosting tab and even how to reset it using like the wordpress plugin so this will be actually for this tutorial i hope you like it thank you guys for watching and goodbye